What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. Today we are talking about when to use the Grand Warren's ability. Almost give you a bit of a guide, tips and tricks for how to use that Grand Warren's ability to get the most effectiveness out of it. Now we did talk about how to use the Grand Warren in terms of ground or air just a couple of days ago so make sure to check out that video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel for all of my Clash of Clans attack strategy videos. Showing you obviously Town Hall 11 and 12 attacks today starting out with a couple of beautiful three stars at Town Hall 12 this one by Hoonigan one of our newest members at Red Elite remember if you do want to join us check out our discord for information on joining but he comes in with a kill squad initially takes out the section on the west here and is actually saving the Grand Warden for the Lava Loon portion now if you have a maxed Giga Tech Tesla. You can see the Town Hall 12 there, that flat roof with the huge trapdoor, that is a maxed out level 5. You're going to need the Grand Warden's ability for that if you're using any sort of attack where it will instantly wipe out the troops once that bomb goes off and balloons it takes out in one shot. So you will see here Hoonigan comes in from that side, takes out the entire section and obviously when the town hall itself goes down, that is when the Grand Warden's ability is pressed. Save them balloons from getting blown to smithereens and there you go doesn't lose any balloons unless you can come in with a kill squad to take out that area and obviously the giga tesla first or sometimes what you can do if you can track onto it easily even with them lava loon attacks you can just send six balloons or so onto the town hall take it out and make sure that you're just using that as kind of a suicide method but if it's harder to track to you're not coming in with your kill squad you're pretty much going to need the Grand Warden's ability for that town hall so that is probably the single most important thing to get out of the way straight away if you're coming up against a max giga tesla you can't track to it you can't take it out you're using troops that that is going to wipe straight out you're gonna have to prioritize the Grand Warden's ability for that Moving on to the next attack then, we are using Electro Dragons for this one. Now Electro Dragons obviously have a lot more HP, so we don't have to necessarily worry about using the Grand Warden's ability on that Max to Giga Tesla. Even though it is a Max Giga Tesla, it's not going to take out the Electro Dragons, so we can use that ability elsewhere, but when is best to use it? Now in terms of the kill squad, we've taken out pretty much everything we wanted to bar the enemy queen who is going to go down in just a second. So we start that portion. We probably couldn't have gained anything extra from the kill squad in the middle. So putting the Grand Warden in there and using that ability as part of the kill squad probably wasn't the best idea. Even with the Electro Dragons coming through, they are going to take out them enemy heroes pretty quickly. The Giga Tesla does do a decent amount of val um, damage sorry, onto the Electro Dragons, but a free spell works relatively well, getting them through that area. One thing that you might struggle with with a Lava Loon or any kind of air attack is getting through to the end of the base. Then final few defenses can be just what takes down your troops and stops you from getting the three stars. So King Jimbo, look at that Grand Warden's ability. Helps the Electro Dragons through that area where they're really going to be taking a lot of damage from that Inferno Tower, from that Wizard Tower, obviously who can do damage to all of the Electro Dragons. I doubt the Grand Warden's ability would have even been needed. He's got so many electro dragons left up but it was used in a very nice area whether it be a lava loon attack or an electro dragon attack getting to them final few defenses if you can hold the grand warden's ability it can be what helps you to just clutch that three stars we'll actually show you a little bit later on in the video a grand warden's ability at the end of a lava loon attack which is maybe a second or two too early but we will have a look at it anyway and show you it was a nice use of it 
let's move on to a couple of other attacks. This is a Town Hall 11 versus a Town Hall 12. I'll skip through the initial part here, and I just want you to take note of when he actually uses the ability here for maximum effectiveness. Now think about what the ability does. It gives your troops invincibility. So you're going to want to use that invincibility when they are most vulnerable, but also you're going to want to try and encompass as many troops within that. So it's kind of marrying up the two using it when it's most effectiveness in terms of getting most troops covered but also when they're going to be taking as much damage and one way you can think about that is if the troops start to split up maybe you have different sections they're going to be taking more damage so take a look at this one the troops he's got a lot of them in that uh, grand warden's era but actually, they're starting to spread out quite a lot. The bowlers are coming down to the south. The king and a couple of bowlers are going into the middle. So using that Grand Warden's ability whilst they were all within it, but just about to start walking out of the way, meant he essentially doubled the value there because he kept all of the troops inside of it before they split up. Otherwise, he would have to prioritize whichever army the Grand Warden went to. So it worked out really nicely for him. Grand Warden ability has already been used, so we'll obviously skip through the rest of this but again they were taking damage at the north the king and the bowlers from the inferno tower and moving to that giga tesla the bowlers coming down to the south were obviously taking damage from all of the hit points um all of the uh the, the arch towers and cannons etc so just because they're starting to split up that grand warden's ability was used and got a very high percentage two star as a town hall 11 versus 12. moving down to the next one then this is again well, Sloans is a Town Hall 11 in himself. This one, he nearly got the three against a Town Hall 12. I mean, there was still a single target Inferno, but we digress, guys. Take a look at this one. Again, it's a maxed out Giga Tesla. Whether it is going to be a ground-based army, an air-based army, as long as your troops are low in health to the fact that they're going to get wiped out by that Giga Tesla again, boom, there goes that Grand Warden's ability. He saves it. The... the giant bomb underneath that max town hall 12 is actually going to kind of stay there for a second or two before it blows up try and work the timing of that guys get used to how long it takes because if you can hold that ability for that extra second it's going to help the troops moving forward and as you could see in this example it helped them a little bit the the CC was still alive actually, but it helped them that little bit as they moved forward. That's about as much as we need to see of the attack. Let's move down to the next one. I'm really focusing on the Grand Warden's abilities here for you. Again, you can see on this one, this is another example of using that ability when the troops are about to, um, to split up and basically the CC. That's another big thing. We've talked about the Max Giga Tesla. That's going to be a priority. We've talked about using it when your troops are in as much danger as possible. So basically, whether that be with your kill squad, that's one thing I haven't showed you a replay of. If you're taking a huge value from your kill squad it might be that actually you don't have to commit as many troops if you put the grand warden in there think about if you're taking out the cc and the queen for example that can be a lot of damage coming in in one kind of small space of time so that grand warden's ability could help you through that the cc is always a big one guys depending on what's in there so this one pranav is going to come forward and use the grand warden's ability to prioritize getting through the cc so we've talked about the giga tesla the cc and basically any area of the base where your troops are going to be under a lot of damage again think about what the grand warden's ability does makes the troops invincible so you're going to want to use it when they're most in danger and also getting that balance between when they're most in danger but when you can encompass as many troops so out comes the enemy cc just as they about to get there the grand warden's ability is popped and he loses no troops to take down all of the cc granted it wasn't really too dangerous but the baby dragons can do a little bit of work and uses that to get through it pressing forward towards the rest of the base obviously helps to get the three star in this one but let's move on to a final attack for you this is the one that i said um we we did get the three star and it was used very well the ability but it could have potentially been saved an extra second or so we could have held back that extra second but anyway it's used very similar 
um, to what we were discussing with the Electro Dragons, waiting until that final section to use the ability when they are in a lot of danger. And again, you might find with some of your air attacks that actually when you get to the end of the raid, it is that final wizard tower that is going to take down your troops. You've got to think about your spells. You've got to marry things up here as well. Can you use spells or different troops instead of the Grand Warden's ability? When is it going to be most beneficial for you? But again, just try and think about when your troops are in most danger and how many troops you can encompass. There's no point in using it on a single balloon or something. I mean, granted, sometimes it can clutch the raid, but you're probably more beneficial using it on a group of them. No maxed out Giga Tesla on this, so we don't have to worry about it. The balloons will take, you know, a decent amount of damage from all of the, the prongs of the Giga Tesla, if you will, but it's really not going to be an issue. They're not going to get blown up afterwards. As they come through here, I mean, you could argue that the Grand Warden's ability could have been used there when there's a lot of balloons getting to that wizard tower, but check out the back end here. Uses the freeze spell so effectively that I think the Grand Warden's ability could have been held an extra second or so. You can see now the balloons are taking more damage than they were when the Grand Warden's ability was used. But it all depends. Perhaps, you know, you have to think about it as well. If your Grand Warden gets targeted, for example, he is a troop in himself. If he goes down, you haven't got that ability. So you've got to take that into consideration as well. You might have to use it earlier than expected if your Grand Warden is taking damage. The final thing which we haven't mentioned, not really used as much in the meta anymore, but you do see it from time to time, is using the Grand Warden's ability to help protect your Queen. Give your Queen an extra life. If you're doing a, a Queen charge, for example, sometimes taking that Grand Warden in can help her through them areas and give her an extra life, essentially. But there you are, guys. That wraps it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out.